Hey everyone and welcome back. It's been a very long time and I know this but I just wanted to make a video um, because maybe too late to explain because I'm already here but I decided I would come to Belarus which for most people is kind of like Russia um, and I'm here already. I didn't film my trip here because it's so long, so boring, so stressful but I'm here with my girlfriend. Uh, she's from here actually. I've been here for like not even a week yet, but now I, w I decided maybe I'll film a little bit now. I guess maybe many people don't really know this, but when you come to a place like this, you gotta realize that a lot of the rules, regulations, and laws are very different, so you have to be careful. Um, I'm very lucky because I have a personal tour guide, obviously, my girlfriend, uh, to translate if I go anywhere to order food or if I need information or anything, and it's pretty cool. But make sure to plan a trip if you want to do something similar to this before you just jump on a plane and go. I'm in my bathroom in my really nice apartment here in Minsk, center Minsk to be exact. As you can see, we're pretty much moved in. Like, we have all these things on the counter. Um, mostly mine, which is weird because I'm the man, but most of these things belong to me. We have this little cool uh, beauty light for, you know, looking in if you have any imperfections you want to really look at. I don't know. I don't like to look because I have so many. Anyways, yeah, I'm filming right now and I have to be very quiet because my girlfriend's sleeping. Uh, she had a very long day today, which was really cool. I got to be part of that. Um, and I don't know if you've heard of this place called Black Star, but I tried this. It's one of the most uh, popular restaurants here because it's like a, uh, like a musician food chain and there's many uh, spread about. It's really cool. Um, and it was very delicious. What's interesting is when you go to this place, it's like a burger joint, but when you go to this place, you have to wear gloves when you eat your burger or your food in general. And it's so cool, you wear black gloves while you eat so your hands stay clean because the food's very messy, but so, so good. Anyway, I will give you a tour of the apartment right now, but I want to be very quiet so I probably won't say much, if anything, because she is sleeping and I do not want to wake her up, but... Yeah, maybe you'll enjoy uh, the apartment that I'm staying at here in Central Mids. Let's see. So yeah, during this trip I'm really not going to be filming so much because it's my first time here and I should spend it with my girlfriend and her family. It's really cool, but to start with, here's the bathroom. Kind of cool. Uh, we have a rain shower and then we have a jacuzzi tub so you can turn on and sit if you want and it's so cool. Eh, I like the light fixture. It makes the roof look so mysterious and cool and the decor is really nice. One of my favorite parts, and it's kind of weird, is like we have one of those fog doors for bathrooms, but it's cool because it's like, not to be weird or anything, but if like you're naked on the other side, <laughs> you can see if you're up against it. I don't know, I kind of like it, but not like I use it or anything like that. Anyway, here, um, I keep the lights off because she's sleeping, but here we have a wine glass uh, shelf. It's really cool. This turns on the light fixture so you can see and kind of like, I don't know. Uh, showcase your wine, you know, your favorite wine. Um, some shelving systems right outside the bathroom here, which is nice. Oh, another cool feature. I don't know if you can see this, but here, actually, you could choose the level. I can't turn a light on, but you could choose a level for the floors, and it actually heats the bathroom floors, so it's, it's really cool. Right now, I have it on because it gets cold at night in Minsk right now, and it's really warm. It's so cool. Me and these giant sliding doors. Um, it's perfect because you can get ready and if you need a full body mirror, you come here and look and you know what I mean? Number one rule here, um, and a lot of places in Europe and Asia, leave your shoes here. I knew this because I have a lot of Asian friends in uh, you know, California. When I came here, sometimes I forget and my girlfriend gets kind of angry. Um, it's one thing you don't want to forget. Uh, here's the doorway, so cool door. Mm, very fancy, multiple locks for your safety. Um, someone can call you from downstairs and you lift this phone and it gives them access to the door, they can get in. And after you do this, you can press this button right here and it will turn on the camera to the door. Uh, entertainment center. Interesting fact, the TV is broken right now. Have to get that fixed. Sorry if you hear this uh, background sound right now. I'm watching Sabrina. And drinking, uh, you know, just uh, one of the more popular beers here in uh, Belarus, along with Nesquik bars because also interesting fact, we don't have these in America. <laughs> so here's a really cool part of the kitchen. Um, you have such a nice point of view of the city. Uh, as you can see, this is center Minsk. So this is like Belarus, the very dead circle of Belarus pretty much. They celebrate a lot here during this time of year for Independence Day, which is kind of cool. 
We have some treats we put out for people who come over, like friends, uh, Belarus candy and uh, uh, treats as well, like cookies, pastries, just cabinets. Don't really want to show what's inside because there's not much. It's just a temporary stay here. Here you have more cabinets and then uh, here's the oven right here. We haven't used it yet because we do a lot of takeout or we eat fancy. We don't really like to cook at home. Here's where we dine. We like to sit and be close and talk and drink um, and relax. Some cool decor over there too with the flowers. The chandelier here is so cool in the entertainment room. I really like this so much. Um, some cool light fixture also, more decor. The fridge, I'll show you, but there's nothing really so interesting. Um, just water, beer, <laughs> chocolate uh, milk, juices from Black Star. Interesting, interesting Whoppers from Burger King. They're actually much bigger here. I have not eaten yet, obviously, um, but they look so good and much more rich in flavor. I noticed McDonald's here was kind of the same. It's actually really, it's better here. Same with KFC, really. I don't know, maybe the food is better here because America makes their food so fake, you know? And it's all in the fridge, I think. Nothing in the freezer but like ice cream. I could probably show you some ice cream. They have Kinder ice cream here, which in America, we don't really have much Kinder. We just have the Kinder eggs, which is kind of popular everywhere. But here, Kinder everything, you name it. Uh, Kinder candy bars, ice cream, mm, cereal, anything, anything. It's so cool. Same thing, just uh, ice cream sandwich this time. Same thing. Last thing, it just looked good. Another Kinder ice cream bar. Big shocker, right? But this one looks good, so we decided to get <laughs> Me and her, we really like Kinder, so I think that's why we have so much of this. It's so funny because last night, um, I was showering here, washing, and she, my girlfriend surprised me and said, oh, let's get Papa John's. I said, okay, let's do Papa John's. And she came to me afterwards and said, okay, I ordered three pizzas, which you can see the two boxes, and then like, uh, back in the fridge, we have the really, really big one. And I, when she told me this, I was like, are you, are you serious? There's two of us, we barely eat so much, and you get three pizzas. I could feed my family with this. I'm not so sure why she did this, but she did, and I'm not gonna complain, it was delicious. Uh, we tried all different flavors, which we like to do everywhere, like buy many, even if we don't finish, just to try. To be honest, that's like all of the apartment, other than the room, which I can show you a little bit of, but I have to be quiet and I won't be able to say anything. And I can't really film her because she's in the bed, so I'll show you a little, but uh, yeah, one second. Yeah, you might be asking yourself why is she sleeping in broad daylight? Well, for us we woke up early and we sleep so late, so it's kind of normal for us to sleep uh, this time of day just a little bit. And we're from America, so the schedule is like 11 hour difference, so we have to be like this and nap sometimes to make up for all the time lost, if that makes sense. But we, we don't nap so much, we're so busy all the time. As you can see, I've gotten some sunburn here too, which I really don't like. But uh, yeah, that's the apartment tour, kind of, uh, sort of. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna go watch Sabrina and drink the rest of my beer, and then wake her up, and we're gonna go shop at the mall, so it should be cool. But yeah, I'll show you around town, uh, Minsk, and things that I do really soon, and I hope you uh, want to see this, because I'm going to show you anyway. <laughs> it's such a cool culture, and so many interesting people and things you learn just by traveling and coming to a country like this, so. But I will keep you posted, but tonight we're gonna finish our night with no camera and just have fun, so. I hope you enjoy it, really. Uh, this is not the end of the video, this is just me saying peace out for now, bye. So, how many times do they change like flowers though? I don't really know those flowers, but see, it's like still good. Like a couple days. I can't touch the flowers? No. <laughs> so sad. No? I think it would be fun. Hello and good morning, uh, kind of, for me morning. It's like uh, 12 p.m. right now, but I slept so late last night that for me, 
this is morning time. So yeah, I just woke up, cleaned, as you can see, made the bed brand new again. It looks really nice. Um, and uh, washed so I can go out today. We're gonna go out, uh, me and my girlfriend. We're going to go shop at one of the malls here that's really fancy and nice. Um, but I want to show you like a cool point of view out my window really quick. Today's a very rainy day. It's so cool and so nice. So everybody's, you know, walking in their raincoats and, um, you know, going about their day. But it's so cool because even though it rains or snows, people still go outside and stay relevant. Sorry, my face is irritated. I just did a treatment on myself. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting day for us. We have some errands to run, some things we have to fix and do. But it shouldn't take long and it'll be fun anyway, so I'm not really complaining. Yeah, my girlfriend's not here right now. She actually left to go get her nails done. And they usually do really good. They look so pretty when she gets them done. So I'm excited to see how they look when they finish. But I'm just waiting for her and when she gets back, we will go. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, right now I'm watching a music video, like Russian music videos. But it's cool because this is like the music station, uh, THT, right? But... As you can see, this is an American song by Cardi B. It's cool because f more than 50% is all like American or English songs that play. So for me, it's no difference from being in America. Yeah, yesterday was kind of fun too. I didn't film even though I kind of said I would. I filmed a little as you saw. Yeah, today's another day. It's just crazy because now I only have five days left here in this country and I'm kind of sad because I really like it here. I really love Belarus and I wish I could stay, but responsibilities. I have family, work, and things to, big kid things to do. Uh, who knows, maybe one day I'll move here, hopefully next year or the year after, just for the experience. Even if I only live here for one year or half a year, it's still really cool to invest and try something new in a different culture, different country, you know? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. There's some things I'll go over with you right now that I think are very interesting and different. Um, and I have a minute to talk about it while I wait for my girlfriend anyway. So why not talk about it? One second. I guess to begin with, um, a lot of the things here are different. And you don't really realize this if you just decide to travel. No matter where you go, things are always going to be different. Different uh, traditions, respects, laws, like I said before. Independence Day was really cool to witness here because, you know, in America we don't do anything like that. And it's, it's really interesting to me. But there was an accident during this that my girlfriend found. Um, while the fireworks were going off, we heard a big boom, and it looked like a bomb, like a t like a bomb. I kid you not, a, a giant mushroom cloud, and it looked scary and dangerous. But we thought maybe it was part of the parade. Apparently not. There was a news report saying people died the next day from this accident. It's really not funny, but I laughed because in the moment I thought it was normal, but I was wrong. It's not normal. Uh, the environment here, the buildings, the the construction, much cleaner. Everything's much more clean, environmentally friendly. Uh, I think it was 86. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. But 86, uh, the year is when a lot of Belarus was rebuilt because of Germany, you know, <laughs> going to war with Belarus. Like the monument I showed you last night. That's also like a memory of when Germany attacked also and many people came to help out, which is really cool. I learned that from my girlfriend. It's so nice to have like a tour guide who knows all about the history for the most part here. It's a, it's a very beautiful country here. Uh, when I came from the airport, I saw nothing but trees. So when I landed, it was like a forest to me. And then you start to get in the city and you see all these things. But the outskirts like around the city, of Minsk especially, all pine trees and trees and green life and it's so, it's good here. Anyways, I don't have much more to say about this right now. I don't want to, um, to throw out stereotypes that aren't true because then it will really offend people, but Belarus is really the place to go. It's such a good place to be, good place to live and everything. Again, I have five days left and it's really sad because when I got here, I was, you know, for a minute when I got off the airplane, I was homesick, but now I feel like when I leave, I'm going to be homesick from leaving here and want to come back. Um, our everyday routine is literally wake up, shower, call a taxi, we take a taxi to lunch, breakfast, uh, depending on the time, and we go shopping. We do a lot of this. It's it's so interesting to me because we do this so much, and it's like a regular routine, but it's so cheap to do this for Americans, you know, for American dollar because the, the ruble and um, USD difference, which is really cool. I guess for today, that's all I really have to say. Um, I'm just going to wait for my girlfriend, finish my ice cream, and then leave for the day. Really cool art. Oh, I like that too. Come 
competition for exercise and weight. What's this? Mm -hmm. Good morning, people of Belarus, Minsk, and really anyone watching this video. It's actually really nice outside right now. I think it's uh, one second. Almost 5 a.m. out here. It's really cold, really wet. Um, but I figured why not go for a morning walk? I can't sleep. I just had sushi, and I don't know. I just don't feel like being at home when I have two days left here in Belarus. So I figured why not walk the streets a little and kind of film a little more outside. My girlfriend's upstairs in the apartment sleeping, and I'm out here roaming the streets all alone. Literally nobody's out here right now as you can see, but it's kind of cool at the same time Anyways, uh, the battery is about to die on this camera, so I want to get straight to the point I'm staying in a very beautiful spot called Center Minsk and this location is really good We have many convenience stores like right here um, on my left is a really cool I mean, it's really small but convenience store for like groceries um, and then, hold on, let me stand under this roof where there's no rain. Um, and then over here we have like fancy restaurants, a bank, um, you know, like travel agency places, uh, cool store for like magazines and stuff and like, uh, all kinds of cool stuff like that in here, like souvenirs, stuff like that. Uh, over there we have like a, it's a tower for the memory, like the war, like I showed you the other day, um, which again, that fire's still going like usual. <laughs> um, as you can see like right here and then also like right here where I'm exactly where I'm pointing they're underground tunnels so this is how you actually cross streets so it's really illegal to cross streets here so you can't just jaywalk you know you either have to wait for a crosswalk or you wait completely for these uh, you know underground tunnels where you have to go under and cross which is really interesting to me because people in uh, the US don't really care they kind of just run however they want and what's really cool during the daytime business hours there's a lot of people down here like elderly people uh, because they can't work they don't find employment because of their age um, so they're down here selling their own products that they make like flowers berries fruits uh, magazines uh, jewelry all kinds of stuff and it's so cool it's really beautiful here and the musicians all kinds of people so here it's really nice you just see a lot of action usually this whole area is full this whole area I kid you not it's a wall of people uh, trying to sell you stuff um, this little shop right here I bought all my souvenirs that will take home to my family and friends which is really cool um, I, this is like a I think a flower shop I'm not 100% sure it's really dead right now nobody's here obviously because it's 5 in the morning and typically people here in Minsk usually sleep in and stay up really late so for instance I should be sleeping right now that's the normal hours here for them and then waking up at like 10 a.m. which is interesting a lot of shops also open at like noon so kind of a late start to the day compared to America starting at like 6 or 7 a.m. I'm on my last taxi for the trip and it's kind of raining outside right now it's really interesting um, and I'm headed home to go pack my baggage if you can see yeah, just gonna go home, pack my baggage, come back to um, my girlfriend's apartment here in Minsk, and after, I'm <laughs> gonna go to the airport and leave, back to San Diego, so uh, this, this is a fun trip, I'll miss it, I'll be back in five months anyways for the holiday season I guess, but for now, gotta go home, be responsible, but yeah, I'll kind of update you when I get back to the apartment. Okay, just got back to my apartment, but it's kind of sad because now I'm just going inside to like pack my bags and maybe eat food, sleep a little, uh, maybe one hour, um, and then after that, uh, yeah, leave, like I said, but it's kind of sad because I haven't been to this apartment or been alone in Minsk yet without my girlfriend, so, or at least her friends, you know, and now I'm here at our home together that we were staying in this whole vacation for two weeks, pretty much, and... I don't know, it's kind of sad when you come back. You're all alone. One second. <sighs> Make 
sure to lock the door, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, it, like I said, it was really, it's just, just kind of sad and lonely because, I mean, everything I do and look at here reminds me of her and I don't even have her here with me. It's not even that I'm afraid, it's not even that I'm lonely. <sighs> Ooh, Thor is on TV right now. It's, it's none of the above, it's just, okay, I'm lonely and I miss her. It's really interesting to me because I actually told her before she left me that right now, that all of her stuff's moved out and I'm alone. It feels like I'm all alone and my wife left me. <laughs> I don't know, we live together and now we don't really get to live together when we go back home because we have separate priorities right now at the moment and lifestyles, but we see each other pretty much every day. I've had such a good time in Minsk. It's been really crazy, really fun. Um, and there's many things I could say about this trip because it was phenomenal, truly phenomenal. And I will come back in December in five months, like I've told you before. And every summer I'll be here as well. Um, I'm sorry I didn't really show you so much of Minsk. I only showed you so little. But we've been so busy with friends and when I'm with them, we don't really speak much English and it's difficult because you wouldn't really understand what we're saying anyways because I hardly do. So it'd be kind of boring um, for the most part. Uh, but, you know, I'm coming back, S for sure. So next time I'll do more, and maybe this time you got a little taste of the things that I went through and where I'm staying, because I showed you the apartment, and the food I've tried, uh, a couple things that we've done all together too. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna try and uh, use the restroom, shower, uh, clean up, and finish my baggage, and then maybe, like I said, order some food, eat, and then, Head back to the ladies and see if they need any help before we leave uh, back home So I, I really hope you enjoy this video if you want to see another one when I come back in five months Let me know leave good feedback because if you don't then I won't even bother wasting my time and I'll just Come back and enjoy my time alone uh, But yeah, I would like to film much more next time So let me know what you think and if you like this video obviously put the thumbs up down below too and maybe share with a friend or somebody who plans to travel to Russia uh, Belarus or maybe just another part of the world and wants kind of tips advice or kind of ideas of you know I don't know anything all right I'll talk to you on the other side peace out yo so it's a little bit later now I actually lied I'm not gonna go to sleep I did finish packing though and my bag is really full um, I'm just worried about the weight at the airport, but I guess we'll see how it turns out. The apartment is really empty now and it's kind of sad. I'm just sitting here on my phone, um, writing and talking video chat to my girlfriend. Anyways, yeah, I just wait for Burger King. I ordered it to come uh, through delivery, so it should be here within an hour. And once it gets here, and maybe I'll show you what it looks like and, you know, kind of explain how it tastes to you. I don't know. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just gonna relax, wait for the phone call, and then, uh, maybe I'll update you then to show you how the food looks. At long last, the food guy is here ringing the bell, so I should probably let him in. This is how I'm gonna let him in. Just answer the phone, press the lock button, place back, and now I just wait and watch for him to come up. I kid you not, I waited like one hour for this food, so if he doesn't hurry, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh god. <laughs> Perhaps you could hear that. <laughs> Um, when he came, I was like, uh, mostly English, because he like, I understand Russian for the most part, but this guy was just so fast with his speech, I couldn't understand, so I was like, uh, sorry, uh, English. <laughs> he was like, oh, uh, <laughs> he didn't know what to say or how to respond, but it's okay. He tried and he just showed me his phone and said, uh, this much money, and I was like, oh, Okay, that's cool, but I'm gonna eat now. My food came here. I'm so excited. It's been over an hour, as I said, um, and now my girlfriend waits also. So um, I'm gonna eat, call her, let her know the food's here, and then I'll update you. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look so good here, but it will feel very good here. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go eat. I'll see you later. Bye.
Can you hear me? You want to say thank you, my mom? Yes, where is mom? Where is mom? Show me mom. Spasiba, Mila, really, Spasiba. Oh, God. So nice. No problems. No problem. In 2.30 you should come. 2.30 a.m. I should come to the apartment? Yep. Okay, I can do that. Here's my food. I'm so excited. It looks so delicious. I'm really happy. Okay, I just finished my food. I know I wasted so much, but I got a burger, a kebab, which is in here. Um potato fries and chicken. <laughs> it was a surprise for me. My girl friend actually ordered this for me, so I had no idea what she got. Show your face. No. Come on, please. No. Why not? Why, yes. Because I want to see your face. Well, that didn't exactly go the way I wanted it to. She actually did not show her face. But it's okay, she had a good reason. She was making me food for tomorrow. And I didn't even ask, so it's so nice of her to do this. She does everything for me, it's crazy. I don't, I don't deserve her. <laughs> um, but yeah, now I'm gonna sleep because I don't have much time. I should head to their apartment in one second. Right now it's 11.25, so I think I need to go over there in two hours. So for me, I should sleep maybe one, shower, and then get all of my stuff put together. And then, really, I get a taxi and go. So, yeah, thanks for enjoying my lonely night with me, but uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'm so full from Burger King, and uh, I want no food ever again, but... I do want good sleep, so I'll do that. I'm gonna catch some Z's, so I'll see you very soon. Maybe as you can tell now, I'm in the airport waiting for my departure. To be honest, I have no Wi-Fi for my phone, and I can't really communicate with anybody with this Russian number. Um, right now, I'm probably gonna eat breakfast uh, that I have packed. So I'm gonna eat breakfast, maybe sleep for like an hour or two hours, and then afterwards, um, I don't know, I'm gonna try and find where I belong for my flights. So, wish me luck. If you don't hear from me, you know what happened. I never made it home to America. <laughs> right now, I have priorities, so...